want to welcome you again to Insights. It's a joy when we can meet in this fashion. And I pray as we share again this morning, it will be a blessing to those individuals who are watching. Pray that the, the insight that I'll share with you this morning will be a means of encouragement and to give you the added lift and strength that you need to face your day. It was Albert Ellis, a famous psychologist who came up with a psychological construct called Rational Emotive Therapy, and by short, R.E.T. You know, the literature on this, this, this concept was broadened by so many others because it really makes a lot of sense. Individuals like Martin Seligman, who came up, as it were, with an addendum to Robert Ellis' um, concept. He came up with what was called positive psychology. And in recent times, Dr. Aldo Pussy, who shared the same concept, rational, in fact, his, his research was rational living therapy, one that I subscribe to. It's a form of cognitive behavioral therapy that teaches that our, our thoughts, cause our feelings and behavior and not people, things, or situation. Never so often we feel like people are the ones who perhaps may shape our behavior, maybe in some respect. But you know how we interpret life circumstances affect our feelings or emotions and ultimately our behavior. What we think determines how we act, how we respond. Because I firmly believe as um, Pussy says, positive thoughts leads to positive feelings and ultimately positive behavior. The way we think, how we interpret life circumstances will affect us. We need therefore to monitor our thoughts or thinking because how we think will inform our emotions and dictate our action. And as Christians, things may not seem the way we really want them to be may seem bad and dismal, but we don't have to pine and become despair, become discouraged. Yes, some folks will have anxiety and depression. For we know as Christians, we believe that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. God is in control, and sometimes we tend to jump ahead of him to make our own assessment, our own interpretation of circumstances. It may seem bad, but God can use that bad situation and turn, turn it to be something good and rewarding for us. So we don't have to go down the road of start thinking those negative, destructive thoughts. In fact, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, the Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence. I like this. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life, how we think. And the Bible uses heart and mind interchangeably. How we think will determine how we feel. It, it's out of the abundance of the heart, the mind. It is out of the abundance of the heart or mind that good and evil come into our lives. It was Jesus who said, I want to share it with Zeth. These are the words of Jesus. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So we ought to monitor our thoughts. What we think will affect us. In spite of what may happen around us. We don't have to go down that lane and start thinking all the negatives. But the more we start becoming positive, see the good, in as much as a thing may not go the way we expect, we know that God is in control. Then, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, which is another passage that speaks so eloquently to us. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, 
Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Today, let us monitor our thoughts, because the way we think affect our feelings and ultimately our behavior. We can turn those bad situations, and too often we tend to think about the bad things, but we don't have to go down that road. Leave it all to God. Then let our day be bright and rosy. Let's think about God and all of His goodness. So the goodness of life. There's so many things that we can think about to enhance our life. Let us do that today. So I want to admonish you today, whatever may come. Let us realize that God is in control. And we can turn all bad situations into good ones. What we need to do today is just surrender. Surrender our minds, our hearts to God. Let's trust Him. So whatever, whatever may come your way today, bear in mind. Let's look about. Let's be positive. Because our God is still in control. Let Him control your mind today. And let us enjoy the bounties of life. In fact, He says, He came so that we may have life and have it more abundant. Leave all the depression behind. All of the bad things we have. Let's start seeing the good, the good in love. And there's so many things around us that we can rejoice about because our oh God is extremely good. So as we bow our heads to the loving Father, we give you thanks for another beautiful day. Oh Lord, the sun may not be rising on our side of the world, but Lord, you know that you're still in control. The pantry might be empty, you might be out of a job. But Lord, we know that you're still in charge of our lives. And you work out those seemingly bad situations. Oh, help us to trust you as we surrender our minds and our hearts. Only you can control it. We want to thank and praise you. In Jesus' name. So God bless you until next time. No, sometimes we don't see how they Struggles that break our hearts into.